Noise and music are two flavors of sound. Noise has the reputation of being annoying. That is, noise a noise. But... Music blaring from a frat house can also be annoying. So for now, let's set aside our subjective feelings and instead, let's focus on the objective physical characteristics of each. With noise, you're hearing many different sound frequencies all at once, just a random jumble of sound. But we can classify different kinds of noises. With white noise, all audible frequencies are coming at you, and the intensity of each sound wave is the same, regardless of its frequency. As shown on this graph, the low frequencies hitting your ear have the same oomph as the high frequencies reaching your ear. And here's what it sounds like. It's called white noise because of the parallel to white light, which is what your eye perceives when all frequencies of visible light are coming to you with the same intensity. With white noise, you're hearing all audible sound frequencies with the same intensity. You can think of white noise as listening to a thousand people talking all at once. It's a jumble of sound, and there's just no way your brain can pick out any one conversation. And that's why a psychologist might place a white noise generator outside the office door. The white noise makes it harder for anyone to eavesdrop on your conversations. Got a perpetual ringing in your ear that just won't go away? It's called tinnitus, which also tends to disappear with white noise. People can find some relief by listening to the white noise static of a vacant radio station or TV channel, say, for helping them to fall asleep at night when all is quiet, except for that annoying ringing in your ear. A case where the noise is not annoying, but soothing. Pink noise follows the bizarre mathematical equation, and it's kind of hard to explain. But here's the graph. Note the intensity goes down with increasing frequency. And here's what it sounds like. My personal favorite is red noise, because that's the sound of the ocean. Look at the graph, and you'll see red noise is mostly with low-end frequencies. It's called red noise because this is similar to red light, which is also of lower frequencies. Pink noise, of course, is a hybrid of both white and red noise. So with any noise, you're hearing many different frequencies all at once. With music, it's not like that at all. With music, you're hearing only select frequencies that have been carefully crafted together well, to tickle the brain with a discernible signal. To tickle the brain all the more, the crafted sounds are presented with rhythm. You know, one, two, three, four, yeah. But to describe the musical sound itself, we can speak of three physical characteristics. Pitch, loudness, and quality, which we'll explore in the next lessons. Good energy.